This is the Virginia Barn Dominium. This is actually a modified version of that. I'll point out some of the differences as we go through this. This is looking from the back of the house, so opposite the garage, uh, looking at the nice pool, the porch, the patio, outdoor living is off to the right with the kitchen, or a little grill, I should say, and there's a TV back to the right and to the left. There's a ping pong table up top. Kids will have some fun with that. Inside of here, there's also a loft area with, that's also been modified a bit. There's no separation between the built-in bunk beds. So let's move around. Here it is during construction. You can see also has two different roof lines. Those two windows up top go to the loft area right above the built-in bunk beds. Front doors off to the right. It's got two doors instead of one. And the original showed an office area up here and did not have stairs as you walked in. Now you have stairs as you enter, which I think is a better use of the space instead of having it in the great room. Once again, looking at the two different roof lines often break up a large building. This is like a 60 by 70 for the actual living area there, the, the main roof you see. Once again, just inside the front doors, you have the stairs going up to the loft area. Off to the left is a bathroom, the pantry, and the mudrooms opposite that behind the kitchen. There's the entryway, so there's the half bath. And off to the right, there's a door going to the pantry, which also connects to the mudroom. Another view. And here's looking from the that entryway toward the dining room and great room. Another picture of that where you can see outside, you can see the ping pong table up, up top as well as a TV built in. So if you know you're gonna do that, you wanna build in ahead of time the power uh, cable connections and such to get to those unless, well, these days you can use Wi-Fi on your smart TVs. This is from the great room looking back at the kitchen. The door on the left is going to that half bath. The island, although it's large, at, when I was there taking these photos, they're like, we're gonna make it larger. There is some imperfection, so they're gonna make it larger. One thing also to note is if you don't add power to this, you're probably gonna want power. Somebody's sitting there at some point, you're gonna wanna charge your phone or somebody's gonna wanna charge something. So think about that. This is wide enough on the interior, about 30 feet from side to side there, that you can have a huge island as well as have an overhang on each end then you can have even more stools there. So I believe that's one of the plans they have with the larger island. They're gonna also have seating on the ends if they would like it so they can spread out a bit. The loft area is up above there. There's also a fan, one of those rather large fans right above this great room. Another look, the master's off to our left behind the TV. Master suite, there's two bedrooms, suites off to the right side there. Here's the mud room, so behind that door is the garage coming in, and you can see some of the pantry way off to the left. And here's looking back into the pantry, and off to the right is where we were previously, so the garage, this is notched out into the garage area, as well as that half bath, which is to the left of this picture. One of the two bedrooms on the side of the opposite the master. And once again, there is a bathroom to the left and a closet to the right of these. So these are pretty standard with what we show on the uh, original Virginia. Notice the ceilings are vaulted. This is the master bedroom. And back behind there is the closet behind the bed. And then you get to actually the master bath. So looking into the master bathroom, closet off to the right once again. Another closer look. Shower and a water closet. Now we're into the loft area with the built-in bunk beds off to the left. There's a bathroom directly to the left. On our plans, we show that you can actually have a room or two up here you can obviously decide not to do that. Depends on what, who you see using this and how closed off you'd like this to be. There's the door to the bathroom. 
The door off to the right is storage. Now we're outside by the pool, so back on the other side for the outdoor living area. And above this is the ping pong table and deck. Looking across, you can see the fireplace. I mean, at the fireplace, the barbecue pit. <laughs> Once again, coming back and just looking at this, we'll see some of the actual structure. Oh yeah, spiral staircase goes up to the outdoor deck. Did you notice the fireplace off to the left? I did not, ah, uh, somewhere I had a photo of that. I didn't include it. So here's the framing looking from the pool into the house. So with the steel structure is the only way we've seen someone build these. And in this case, having the porch as well as the loft framed out of the steel, it makes it much easier than trying to figure out how are you gonna, what kind of like engineering do you need to get that done for your flooring. And back in the back, we'll have another photo. Well, here's this one still. Further along in construction. This is the interior looking at the kitchen. So once again, look at that beam across there to support that. That's nice that it's already there. You see some air ducting. Oh, and to point out, during COVID, some people, if they had the resources and people that can build as commercial, meaning you don't see any lumber here, that's an option, right? If you don't have that and you're not familiar with having steel studs or metal studs, just realize you wanna plan ahead and make sure that the crews know what they're doing. Otherwise, it might be slower, it might be more expensive. You might want to plan ahead for where you're going to hang your TVs. Quite a few things to consider. A lot of people don't, don't realize that, oh, you just can't put a nail into the wall because you're going to hit metal and not a wood, wood stud there. But definitely an option for some people and some places, right? If you have, have the trades that can do it, if the pricing's right for you, definitely an option. So this is that same area framed in. Back to the front again, and we will finish up with the floor plan. This is, I'm going to show you the stock, and you'll notice some of the differences. So once again, as you entered, so bottom left, it's not a single door with an office area. The stairs were moved there, and it's a double door. Previously, we'd show the stairs over in the dining room area, which tightens that area up a bit. Pantry and mudroom are still the same. The outdoor bathroom is not there and the stairs out for the outdoor porch, bottom right, that became a spiral. Which actually for probably as little as people are going to use it probably makes a lot of sense to go that route once again it takes up a lot less space. Definitely a popular floor plan, a popular look. We've also gone through these and made our different floor plans fit the same look. But I really want to note that we didn't, we've yet to find anybody that has built this out of wood because of the trusses. That's, that's been the issue of having the open span inside for the loft area. You could probably do it, but most likely the middle section of your building is going to be taller. Than, so instead of two continuous roof lines coming off the main, main area, one to the left, one to the right, a normal peak, you'd probably have two lean-tos for your two side wings where the bedrooms are at. Check out our site. We have, I think, more than 50 stock plans now. We will modify these for you. We create custom plans. Often people start with a stock plan, at least we, we recommend. If you're not for sure, start with a stock plan. You can redline change it. You can draw some different things in there. If a builder really wants to have us modify it to change a bathroom or to make it match a structure, that's definitely a step. We'll credit you back the, the price for the stock plans to modify these for your exact building or your exact needs. Any questions, it's best to contact us on our website. We have a contact page there. We will email you back, and that way you can send us any pictures, any sketches. Quite a bit on the website also talking about all the different things you can think of when it comes to designing and laying out your floor plan. A lot of resources there. Any questions, definitely, once again, just contact us on our website uh, using the contact page, and we'll get right back with you.